Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, I'm Lugnus Monster, and if you guys didn't know, Hasbro announced a brand new fan stream for May the 3rd, where they're going to be announcing a bunch of new Star Wars-y Black Series products. With all the Black Series pipelines and rumors that are going around, in this video I'm going to be talking about everything that I think we're going to be getting at this live stream. Really quick though, before we do get into the video, we're actually giving away this Black Series Arc Trooper 5's figure. It is sealed and ready to ship once we get 13,000 subscribers here on the channel, and we are so close to that 13,000 subs. But to enter, all you have to do is one, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and two, once we actually do hit 13k subs, I'll make a giveaway video, and all you have to do is comment on that giveaway video to enter. Anyway, on to the video. So first up, we're going to be talking about all of the already existing pipeline reveals from Hasbro because we know that they are coming to the line at some point or another, so there's always a good chance they will reveal them at some kind of fan stream like this, so really excited about it, and the most obvious answer for something that's going to get revealed is Darth Sidious. He was revealed a long, long time ago in the pipeline, and... He is the only one out of these three that haven't been officially shown off yet. We have the Clone and Droid 2-pack, which is actually already shipping from Hasbro Pulse. Mine just lift, left the building today. As well as that last Command 4-pack already went up for pre-order, so Sidious cannot be far off. And if I had to put money down, I would definitely say that this Sidious is going to be revealed at this stream. Some of the other pipeline reveals that we have yet to see is the IG-12 set that comes with Grogu as like the little IG mech. That one is going to be pretty cool and I do expect to see that one here at the stream as well. There's also the Jedi Survivor 3 pack, which I believe is an Amazon exclusive and I don't necessarily expect to see this one revealed at the stream. They don't normally do bigger sets like a 3 pack at a stream like this, and as well as it is like an Amazon exclusive, so this is just one that I don't expect to see revealed, but you never know, they could surprise us. And then, of course, there is the single release of that Super Battle Droid. This one is definitely a possibility as well. It is a fan channel, so I'm not necessarily sure if it will get revealed, but I do think that this one does have a higher probability of getting revealed at this stream as well. Now, we do have the most recent pipelines, which include Dedra Miro, Imperial Armored Commando, Ahsoka Tano or Ahsoka the White, the Captain Enoch and Knight Trooper 2-pack, as well as the Clones of the Republic Yoda and Gree 2 pack. All of these are definitely like up in the air for this stream. I think they could get revealed, but I also think there's a pretty high chance that it could be saved for a later stream. Uh, these were pretty recent reveals, and so normally they don't get pipeline revealed and then like immediately revealed the next stream, so I think we probably got a little bit of time before we start seeing uh, official reveals for these figures. Now this next piece of information comes from Yakface forums, and there's actually a brand new figure in the Acolyte Wave that has not been revealed yet. It is codenamed Pivot, and we don't really know what's up with this thing. I believe it already went up for pre-order on Amazon. I don't know if it was by mistake or not, but this figure has not been revealed yet. And Yakface has even pointed out that uh, the Star Wars team has tried to cover up who is on the number one spot on like the side of the mural artwork because next to Jedi Master Soul is number one and they completely changed the artwork to remove like bits of people that are clipping onto the different murals. And so... Hasbro is trying to hide who this figure is. I don't really know who this is going to be. I believe it could be whoever quote unquote the Acolyte is, or it could also be like the Jedi Wookiee that we see in the trailer. I think it's one of those two options, but we don't really know for sure. But I think there's a pretty high chance we could see this figure revealed at this live stream, considering that it already went up for pre-order on Amazon. Now, if you guys did miss my last video and you don't know, Yakface actually posted this cryptic word search, uh, teasing at a bunch of Black Series re-releases that we're going to be getting. This list did include Rex, Fox, Hunter, Crosshair, Dr. Afra, Triple Zero, BT-1, and Plo Koon. Now, Bly is on here, but he did, uh, Yakface did confirm that this was a mistake and Bly is not supposed to be on the crossword. And we don't really know what this thing really is supposed to be, because there is a Archive Wave rumored for 2024, but we don't know if this is supposed to be figures for the Archive Wave, or if this is supposed to be just a whole new re-release wave. We don't really know for sure. If I had to put money down, I think this could be an Archive Wave personally, but again, I don't know for sure. But we did get a pre-order for Entertainment Earth, actually, that went up the other day and then was immediately taken down. It was actually for Ahsoka Tano from Season 7 of The Clone Wars. And so that one is already now confirmed to be getting a re-release, as well as uh, Hera and Sabine from uh, the Rebels show in that of Rebels packaging, not the Ahsoka version. And so that is just some a few more examples of some re-releases that we're going to be getting. And so that kind of also makes me think that these figures could be a part of that like re-release wave. And we just don't really know, but at least right now, we know that we are going to be getting these figures in uh, some way or another. 
Now this one has been floating around for a little while now, but uh, there has been the rumor of a brand new Darth Maul going around because of the leaked artwork on the side, and I gotta say, I think this one has gotta be coming here very soon as well. With the uh, 25th anniversary of Phantom Menace, like in May, I think this one has gotta get revealed very, very soon. We just got Anakin and Padme, we just got the Droidica, so I don't think Maul is that far off. Uh, I, I think that this one is gonna be a huge May 4th reveal, and so that's why I think it's gonna get revealed at this live stream. Now, a new Anakin and Obi-Wan have been rumored from Yak Face for quite a while now, and so I would not be surprised if we see them at this live stream as well. I don't know if it's going to be official reveal or a pipeline reveal, but I do think we're going to see or hear something about this Anakin or Obi-Wan. Their names have been floating around for a while now, and I just think like May 4th is going to be the perfect time to announce something like these two figures. Now, Yakface also did make this post today regarding the new LEGO sets that have come out, and he captioned it, uh, When Hasbro makes something, LEGO normally follows suit, and vice versa. And he specifically singled out these figures here, and in it we can see a Moff Gideon in his armor. We do have the Imperial Armored Commando, which we've already seen pipelined. There is a Kelleran Beck, which is super interesting, and I think he is officially rumoring a Kelleran Beck for the Black Series, which I think is great. And then there is also the Rex minifigure here as well, which I think is interesting because I don't know if he's referring to the like archive slash re-release version of Rex or if he's referring to some brand new version of Rex. It's really hard to see. Hopefully it's both, but uh, I'll definitely keep you guys updated. And hopefully we see some more information about these uh, rumors at the live stream. And then Yakfeast is also rumored getting two new Mandalorian figures, specifically from the Mandalorian Covert in Mando Season 3. And so no more of the blue ones, definitely some orange and some brown and some just like multicolored ones, which I think is going to be really cool. Um, but there is a male and a female version rumored as of right now from Yakface, so I would expect to see something on them, whether it's an official reveal or a pipeline. I think these will definitely see some information at the stream about. Now, of course, as soon as any of figures are revealed at the stream, I'll be making a news video talking about it, so make sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future Black Series news. And I might even be going live, doing a live reaction to the uh, live stream, so if you guys do want to stay tuned and check out that, of course, make sure to check out the channel during the day of the stream because there's going to be a ton of content coming out of my channel on May 3rd. Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. Hit the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.